Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage? Spotted this in the charity shop. 99p, I don't think they're much more than that when they're brand new. But I had to buy it because at this moment in time I've got three of my videos, YouTube videos, are marked as unsuitable for all advertisers. And I think it's because they are rockets that I've made with effervescent tablets. So I thought I'd buy this and make a video with it and see if this one gets marked as unsuitable for all advertisers because it's a rocket. Uh, you can't get much simpler than one of these or much more, um, what's the word? Child friendly. I mean, it's not a weapon by any shape or form. So I'd just be interested to see if they mark this one as a, an issue, a problem. Not suitable for children under eight years old, use under adult supervision. Contains some chemicals, yes. Baking powder. Wash hands after carrying out the experiments. Yeah, okay. And all we've got basically is a film canister, an old 35 millimeter film canister that they've stuck a couple of things on it. and a rubber nose cone and called it a rocket. Begin by removing the cap. Hold the rocket with the nose facing down. Fill it a third of the way with vinegar. Now, that's funny that. I knew it would need vinegar. And it does say you will need to provide the vinegar, but it doesn't say that anywhere on the outside of the box. So if I wasn't already well aware of the fact that you needed vinegar, I'd be quite upset. Because I'd have taken this outside somewhere, opened the box and not been able to use it. So a black mark for graphics I'm not making that clear on the outside. And those fins are going to fall off. Not that it matters. I mean, it's only going to shoot up and fall down. So, yeah, begin by removing the cap. Hold the rocket face nose, and da nose, nose facing down. Fill a third of the way with vinegar. The nose of the rocket must be kept facing down. When ready, carefully open the foil bag, plastic bag, and add two capfuls of baking soda, chemical one, to the vinegar. Ensure the nose of the rocket is held down to prevent the action starting earlier. Mm -hmm. Place the cap properly on the end of the rocket. Listen for the snap to ensure that it's sealed. That hasn't sealed. Gosh, that's going to be that's going to be hard to do. That's going to be a very good seal. <laughs> oh dear me! I can't do that. How's a child going to do that? That was it. Bearing in mind it'll be bubbling while you're trying to do that. Time for takeoff. When ready, turn the rocket the right side up so the noise nose points up. Give it a quick shake and a bang. Move at least two meters away for safety. Within one minute, your rocket will blast off. If the rocket fails to launch after five minutes, carefully pick up and loosen the cap on the rear end of the rocket, still fate, still pointing at the ground. Yeah, and there's the science. 
vinegar and rocket fuel, baking soda, chemical reaction. This kind of reaction is called combustion and it happens when two or more substances are mixed and cause a gas called CO2, carbon dioxide, to be released. When the pressure from the released gas gets high enough, blast off. A plug inside the rocket is ejected and the remaining water sends the rocket skywards. Yeah, okay. Well, that's an incredibly tight, tight fit. So that could be quite interesting. Two capfuls of soda. I suppose that's the inside of that cap. Hmm. Well, we'll do that. Have a go with it and see if YouTube blocks my video. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.